All right, this is Tom Loy with Iris 24-7 out here with Julian Love, three-star cornerback and Notre Dame commit, one of the better players in Illinois. Uh, Julian, let's just talk about the latest, man. Um, how is everything going since you committed, and, and how, how are things with Notre Dame? Uh, everything's going well. Uh, a lot of praise and respect has, has been given to me at home. Uh, you know, all my friends are super excited, my family. But it's just been nice. It's a lot of stress off my shoulders because I worked so hard for this, and I'm just very happy. You still got some nice offers, but is everything still good with Notre Dame? And is that where you plan on signing next February? That is where I plan on signing next okay. February. <laughs> I I didn't know. Like teams, some schools are still talking to me. It's like okay, you can still talk, but I know where my home is. <laughs> it's at South Bend. Who else has been reaching out to you in terms of which other schools um, since then? Uh, since then. Uh, Kentucky, Vanderbilt, Ohio State, actually, and uh, Penn State. Okay, wow. Uh, when, when you talk to Ohio State and Penn State, things like in schools like that, do they tell you that they want to get you on campus for like a camp if you're interested, or what's in terms of an offer? Uh, actually, Penn State's coming in my school the next couple weeks, and so is Ohio State, actually. And so that's what they said. They'll see me work out in the summer, or in the spring. Okay. Um, I know when you committed, um, you told me that you want to kind of take a lead role in recruiting kids, like. Like yourself, Tommy Kramer. You want to, you guys want to recruit guys to Notre Dame. So, who are some of the guys you've been talking to, and what kind of traction have you made with talking to those guys? Well, actually, uh, so all the guys that committed, like Julian O'Quara uh, from Carolina, South Carolina, North Carolina. Yeah, North Carolina. Um, uh, Tommy Kramer, uh, the kid that just uh, signed Liam. Uh, yep. All the tackle from Ohio. Uh, John Shannon, uh, Tony Jones. We're all in the group chat now. We're all dropping names. Of the guys we should be calling and who should we, we, we should be recruiting. Um, since I'm the only one from the Midwest, I'm trying to hit up the Midwest ones with John. Uh, uh, I've been talking to Kenny Like, you know, a good friend of mine, uh, trying to put him on with ND. Uh, Manny Ragumba, he's a receiver in April Central. Fantastic route runner. Uh, my good friend, too, trying to get him together. And just guys I work out with, if I see it in them and they have good character, I mean, not just. They're not just good on the field, they're good off the field. Then I know they'd be right for another name. Uh, another name is uh, 2017 quarterback Hunter Johnson. Uh, keeping in contact with. Uh, that'd be a very nice move. So I'm going to definitely be on him. You know? <laughs> and so, what's, your, what's your gut feeling with Hunter? He's obviously he's the number one quarterback on the board for 2017 and a guy that Notre Dame really wants. And you know Mike Sanford's all over him. What's your gut feeling right now? Where do you think he stands in his recruitment? I think ND is top two. Uh, top two with Penn State and ND. Um, I'm not sure which one he's leaning more towards. People say Penn State. I don't think so. I've talked to him. He says really high things about ND. He loves Coach Sanford. Um, so I don't know. It's just, you know, it's a waiting game for now. I'll do the best I can do. And obviously, Notre Dame will do the best they can do. And hopefully, everything turns out right. Um, have you been able to have some really good conversations with Coach Light since you committed? And um, and maybe even Coach Crum when you've been on campus. Like, what do you talk about those guys and how they would use you in the secondary? Uh, actually, I had, I've been talking to Coach Van Gorder, actually. Okay. Uh, and they see me as an outside corner and an inside corner. And he says not many guys could do that. It basically means, like, playing nickel and playing regular corner. So, like, Matthias Farley, uh, he blitzes a lot, off of, like, right, kind of off the end, kind of like linebacker type deal. And that suits me because I know I'm not the biggest guy, but I plan to be bigger. And I'm a very good tackler despite my size. And so I love that idea because I just love to hit. And I love to, you know, fill holes in the corner. They say I can play that because, you know, I'm quick on my feet. I have good ball skills. And my technique is bad right now. Uh, it could Not bad. It could be a lot better. And so they just plan to work with me. I'm, I've been working in the summer or in the spring and summer. And hopefully it's okay. a part. Um, when's the next time you're going to be in South Bend? I think June, actually. Are you going to be up there for the Irish Invasion? Yes. I, uh, actually, I might not participate, but I'll try to be down there. I'm not sure. Okay. I might participate. I'm not sure. Do you? I mean, are you shutting everything down, or, you, or do you plan on taking any other visits to any schools just to check them out? I'm, I'm pretty shut down right now. Because uh, up to the commitment, I missed. I was 12 weekends in a row. So it's three, three months of visits every weekend. Wow. So I was just missing a lot of... You know, friend time, family time, and it's just, I, I need to decompress. I'm still decompressing while I'm out here in uh, uh, East Chicago, but still, it's like, 
I just need to take a break. Press. And I know I'm like I'm ready, and I'm, I'm still working. I'll always be working because I know some guys, some guys out there I'll come in are better than me. Are you know, <laughs> better than me. Ranked better, yeah. But I'll work my ass off. Excuse my language, but I'll work hard. <laughs> All right. Well, again, this is Tom Loy with Iris 24/7 out with Notre Dame three-star cornerback commit Julian Love. Thanks for your time, man. Thank you.